Hey guys, another travel week. So this week it is Easter holiday. I'm taking the V90 down south again for a week on going skiing. But tomorrow I'm delivering it back. So I'll bring you guys along on the trip down south today. after a few hours on the road as a passenger actually I want to talk a little bit about the seats in the V90 cross country as you guys know Volvo make one of the best seats in the business and in this car there's no exception this seat is adjustable in every way you can adjust the lumbar support the side bolsters and this even has massage function so after sitting in the passenger seat and as you can see the road is really bumpy but after sitting in the passenger seat for a few hours now I just I'm really impressed and after driving this car also for almost a week now I'm more and more impressed by the ride and the compliance of the ride on this car because it's stiff as in it doesn't roll and pull when you go through turns and things like that but also it's very soft and very compliant and very has, the ride is just amazing and I must say this only has rear suspension in the rear but the ride is really really impressive and I am just really impressed with the, the job the Volvo engineers have done on this car <music> This car has the automatic LED lights which automatic go up to high beam and low beam depending on oncoming traffic and these LEDs as you can probably see I hope the camera is picking this up are one of the best in the business I've tried Audi's and Mercedes brand new LED matrix lights and so on and so forth but nothing beats the LEDs on the new Volvo so this V90 cross country along with the XC90 have the best LED lights high beams and low beams in my opinion they're really awesome as you can see here ho really hope the camera's picking this up these lights are just amazing and as you can see there they're dipping down to low beam and then once we've passed high beam very quick all automatic and they're really cool so guys almost at our destination and as you can see outside it is getting really dark because it's really late it's been a very long day and on the way we've filled up the trunk even more with snowboards and skis and ski stuff so we've actually folded down the rear seats and the trunk is just completely full but we have managed to squeeze in really a lot of stuff in this trunk this car is huge but I'm gonna end the day now and pick it up tomorrow when I deliver the v90 cross-country back good morning guys it is a sunny day 
here in Eastern Norway. And the last day I had the V90 cross country. In the back seat of this V90 cross country and now delivering it back after having it for a week and just a closing statement just some closing words about what I like about this car and full disclosure I really really like this car I actually think I might even like it more than the Volvo XC90 but have only driven this car for a week, about 2,000 kilometers, or about, what was that, like 1,400, 1,300 miles? And the XC90, I've driven almost 70,000 kilometers now, or about 50,000 miles. So it's not a fair comparison. But what I really like about this V90 Cross Country is that it's high riding, but not an SUV, meaning that you get a high ground clearance, and you sit higher but you don't get the drawbacks of an SUV the vehicle isn't that tall meaning that it has really good driving dynamics and the comfort the suspension tuning on this car is just amazing the calibration the compliance it's really good riding usually I drive a car for a week and in the beginning I think the ride is really good but in this and then after you know time goes on I find small things I don't like about it nitpicks here and there but even on 20 inch wheels this ride is firm but still very very comfortable and very compliant the interior of this car is even the next level above the XC90 and even though this has a black interior I actually prefer this interior to my XC90. It's just even more modern and more elegant and it's just really amazing. And the gas engine, the T5 engine in this car, the 2 liter turbo with 254 horsepower is a really smooth engine, really quiet, makes a very nice sound for being a 4 cylinder and has really good pulling power made it to the 8-speed ASIN automatic shifter in this car it's it's really really good so those are the things amongst of course Pilot Assist 2 which is yeah Pilot Assist 2 is freaking amazing and I can't wait to get that in my XC9 because according to Volvo it's just a software upgrade on 2016 models and newer so all in all I love the V90 Cross Country T5 and for anybody shopping a car in this segment a station wagon or a SUV go ahead go out and try this car because it really is a really really good car so guys hope you like this video if you did please give it a thumbs up down below and for more car content please subscribe see you guys later and goodbye